I was just cold, so I pulled it back down. So I don't want you to think I was. Oh no, you're like, all right. Even if you do, yeah. it's I, cold out, well, man. I didn't want to give that impression that I was trying to hide my face. I put it up. I'm like, I don't want to give that impression, so I pulled it back down. Appreciate no, that's that great. Good, we man. appreciate you guys. No, you guys course, are acting there's steadfast, a lot of, man. A lot of guys out there that, that wear uniforms that just don't respect the rights of people, you know? Yeah, uh, I think like um. Obviously, right now it shows that you guys understand the First Amendment, um, the right of you know. Well, listen. Ultimately, what are you guys doing wrong? Exactly. You're not doing exactly. much of anything wrong. You know, you could be a YouTuber. You, you know, I mean, you you know, you're just filming. You could be tours. So there's nothing until it gets into like an officer safety situation. Then yeah, there's gonna be some situations. You know, like or even this trailer backing up. You know, I'm like, hey, listen, maybe it's not the smartest to stand there, right? Right, right. But, but I think there's a respectful way of doing it, right? You just say, hey, please move. And listen, and if you don't move, it's on it's, you. It's on you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, 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 that's I, the way it is. Yeah. You know, it's on you. So we can only do so much, right? But as long as you understand the mutual respect, you know, and that's why I put my face mask on and I'm like, oh, I don't want him to think I don't want to be on camera. This, quite frankly, is nothing for me to hide. Right. Exactly. So I, I pulled it back down for that. <laughs> no, you're in an honorable profession, yeah. okay? And if more people in your profession would act honorably, yeah. then there would be less of a disconnect between the citizens and the police. I agree. And so you acting this way, it's a prime example of what we, the people, right. want to see in the people that are wearing that uniform. And remember... At the end of the day, I'm also that people, right? I exactly. Am, the people exactly. So a lot I, of I times look. we have people in your situation, right. in your position, wearing that outfit. Right. They forget that. Yeah, so, like I said, I'm also the people. So when I'm not in uniform and I'm walking around, I would want the same respect also. Exactly. So I agree with you guys. So you Absolutely. Know, I, there's one thing that a lot of officers should understand. That when they, they when they shit on people's rights, they also shit in on their family's rights, yeah, their rights, their kids' rights, their wife's rights. I agree. You know? I agree. Uh, but you know, I appreciate. What, what is? Can I get your name? Oh uh, yeah, James. James. Yeah, James Lozano. Yeah, James. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Yeah, Good to meet you, sir. Yeah. So I will. I will, I will ask you all questions. No, sir. It's uh, you'll find us on uh, on YouTube. Oh, okay. Um, don't know when we might release any videos on this or, or if we even will. Um, but you'll find mine. It'll be standing tall 710. Oh, okay. I've seen a lot of stuff on there. You know, so it's, it is all about, uh, you know, government accountability, you know? And it's just like this gentleman right here said, you got it. You got an outstanding officer. I don't know if you're his supervisor or not, but please let his supervisor know that this man's outstanding. You know, um, to have the respect that he does and to make sure that, that to have the dialogue that he has had with us today, that's a good thing. You know, that goes a long ways to bridging that disconnect between uh, our law enforcement officers and our citizenry. You know, so you know, I absolutely appreciate the way you guys uh, uh, act out here. You know, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah, so I've got some out in California and some in Nevada and stuff. I'm mostly local, you know, but there are uh, there are people who are who are doing similar police accountability, government accountability channels as ours, all over the United States. So it's and more and more people every day are, are beginning to wake up and understand that we're all, that we really are all in this boat together. Regardless of whatever clown costume we all might be wearing at the time. You know? So there's only a handful of people that uh, are not in that boat with us. Most of their uh, assets go through this place right here. <laughs> hey. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for being out here, you know. Try to stay warm. Yeah, I would. <laughs> Beautiful. You did an amazing job, so why not highlight them? 
Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely beautiful people. So they have a they have a door there that can slide down. That's cool. Just like they shut that one over there, they can shut this one. Big old iron door slides down right there. Zoop. this one as well that's cool that's good cool. I'm not trying to go in there I'm not trying to set it off that's a drip right there dripping on my equipment and this guy here patiently waiting for us to leave so that uh, they can complete their delivery I'm sure Windows are open there. Can see in there a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. Blinds on this one. Well, there's some people in there. Oh, I'm being told on. Yeah. of them this lady here as well that lady and that lady both of them and then there's another one oh yeah she's calling somebody I'm assuming it's FPS. Try and get a spot where it's uh maybe I can shield the Now she shut down her stuff. She shut, she shut down her screen finally. Gotta thank our iron workers. <laughs> 